Hello guys, it's me again, Sir Ernest, and today we are going to solve a problem involving magnetic vector potential. The problem reads, what current density would produce the vector potential A equals K phi hat, where K is a constant in cylindrical coordinates? Okay, so, as you will notice here, that our magnetic vector potential only has one component and that is along phi component which is equal to a constant so in cylindrical coordinate system therefore the magnetic vector potential which is defined out uh, the magnetic field which is the which is related to the magnetic vector potential which is the curl of a and this is equal to 1 over s times partial derivative of s times s a p g hat because a p is k therefore this is equal to 1 over s times the derivative or partial derivative with respect to s of s k g hat so therefore the magnetic field is simply K over S Z hat. Very easy. Now, how do we get the current density? So remember that your current density is J. Okay? So we already have your magnetic field. And you already have, and you want to calculate the current density. Now, the, def, uh, the relationship between the current density J and the magnetic field is given by the, the differential form of Ampere's law. So the differential form of Ampere's law is curl of B is equal to mu naught J. Since again we're talking about cylindrical coordinate system, this curl will be in cylindrical coordinate system. So following this equation, we now have J is now equal to 1 over mu naught times the curl of P, which is equal to 1 over mu naught times what? This is what? Okay, good. This is negative partial derivative of s a partial derivative with respect to s of k over s p hat so as you will notice here this form is different from this because remember that b is along the z direction so this is actually bc okay so doing this differentiation we now have what k is a constant you put k outside so this is k over mu naught times negative of negative 1 over s squared so this is uh, s squared then phi hat this is now the direction of the and this is now your current density k over mu naught s prime uh, s squared v hat so the direction is v hat so for example um this is your z this is your s the direction of your current density would be in this direction This 
is the direction of your magnetic field, which is what we expect from the definition of magnetic field. Okay? So, very easy. Okay? So, I hope you were able to relate B equals curl of A and your amperes law. So again, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.